Hello everyone, today we're going to be covering quite a bit of hockey news, so before we start please make sure to subscribe if you are new to the channel, want to see more hockey content and all that. So let's get to it. Last night, Jack Eichel debuted for the Vegas Golden Knights, and unfortunately his presence in the lineup for Vegas was not enough to get a win, as he actually got shut out in a 2-0 loss. I think that was tough for just... Really, a lot of people that were hoping Jack Eichel would get on the board, and he didn't. And, yeah, it was definitely hard for the team who sits second in the Pacific Division behind the Calgary Flames. But, all in all, I think the focus was a lot on Jack and not so much on the team, you know, against Colorado. Was it a bad night all around? In some ways, yes. In some ways, no. I think we should focus on the positive and the negative for Eichel. A few things people focused on in the negative category were his two penalties, that being an interference call on Tyler Yost or against Tyler Yost, and then a high sticking call against or on Gabriel Landeskog. Obviously not ideal to get called to the box twice in your debut with a team, but it happens, you know, it happens to the best of us, and especially when you haven't played in a while, it can be forgiven. If this was every game, that would be a problem, but I imagine he's not going to be spending four minutes in the box every game. And another thing that people seem to focus on, I think these are more casual fans, um, was the fact that he only won eight of his 19 faceoffs. And I really don't get the fuss there because he's never been a great faceoff guy. Um, but yeah, you know, I guess that's one of those things. Faceoffs really aren't as important as everybody makes it out to be. There is actually a ton of stuff that I've read about, especially lately. Once the playoffs came around, I read about it. Where faceoffs, yes, they're important, but you guys usually get overpaid for that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, and then the last thing that people really seem to hate was the fact that he only registered one shot on goal last night, and it wasn't exactly a prime destination, as you can see here. You know. It happens to the best of us. Again, this is his debut. you got to remember, people were wondering if he'd ever be able to play hockey again, and he did. So, you know, it can't be too hard on the guy. But let's focus on the good, too, because there was actually a decent amount of that. For starters, he played over 17 and a half minutes last night. Not, you know, the amount that he normally logs. Plays 20 minutes a night. At least he did in Buffalo. But the penalties and him coming back from that injury, I imagine played a factor in that even if he didn't get those penalties I still don't know if he would have registered something like 21 minutes out on the ice maybe maybe not I don't know and then Vegas um while they were outshot five on five six to three when Eichel was out there which sounds like a bad thing they actually only were down in terms of scoring chances seven to six at that time against the Avs and also in roughly 11 minutes together with Max Pacioretty and Evgeny Dednov they, you know, had some moments. It wasn't exactly like everything was gravy because they didn't score. They were out shot 4-2 to two at 5-on-5. Five five. But, again, when it came to the scoring chances, they were only beat 6-5 to five by Colorado. Plenty of other teams and plenty of other lines and plenty of other players have fared far worse against the Avs. And you got to remember, this team was red hot. You know, they still are really hot team, but the Avs were rolling, you know, just even the last week, and I think for Eichel, if he gets his chemistry right with these guys and the lines that they'll put him on and keep him there, I think you will expect good things. Was it the debut that you would hope for? No, you wish Jack Eichel would have got a hat trick and, you know, scored the game-winning goal, but it was a playoff atmosphere for some people compared to that way, and a lot of stats pointed to it being a really competitive game where either team could have won, Colorado came out on top 2 to nothing. Moving over to some other very, very exciting news. That is that World Juniors is coming back. It is rescheduled for August. I think it was canceled in December, or at least it was around that time, late December, something like that. And that was just heartbreaking. And the details are still up in the air right now about this version of Juniors. But what we know is that all previous games won't count towards this and that your new rosters can be selected for this tournament it's weird because it's like you had it's it's a whole thing but yeah basically new rosters will be selected and those old games will count towards the countries that play and either way i'm happy it's one of those things that if you get it and you weren't expecting to get it you're just kind of happy kind of like kid with a candy bar you ask your mom she says maybe maybe usually means no 
this time we get the candy bar so we can be a little bit excited there and finally on top of all of this i think one thing i was really happy about and i wanted to end the video on a good way is the buffalo sabers jerseys getting revealed these jerseys are of course the heritage classic jerseys that the buffalo sabers will wear against the toronto maple leafs in an outdoor game at Tim Hortons Field, home of the Hamilton Tiger Cats in Hamilton, Ontario. And I believe that game will be on March 13th. I think in general, you know, I like the colors. I think that the gold, yellow, whatever you want to call it, and the royal blue look great. When they were in navy blue, the Sabres had being... Uh, that looked really bad. It almost looks like a purple, but it wasn't purple enough. But I think the colors work well here. Love the cream. I believe that's cream. I have trouble telling colors, but that cream looks good. You know, vintage, old heritage, as you would say. Um, and it looks great. The alternate logos on the shoulder look really good. And overall, good job. Not the best one I've ever seen, but hey, a very good one. And I am happy with that. That is my thought on the jersey and that's my thought on all the other stuff that we talked about in this video what are your thoughts on all the things we covered or maybe some other nhl news around the week let me know down below and before you go make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and again subscribe if you are new you want to see more hockey content you like this video maybe you'll like some of my future stuff yeah everybody stay safe have a great night you go love hockey all right goodbye brigadiers and brigadettes this is your captain signing off have a great night